I mean, this is two, two, this is twofold, I think, Greg. Number one, you want these young guys to start seeing how they look without LeBron. Like, LeBron's 34 years old here in a couple days. We don't know how if he's going to have to miss more games during the season. You know, guys get injured when they get older in their career. And the second reason I think this is encouraging is, hey, we've heard the Anthony Davis rumors. You want to flip one of these guys? It's nice to have Lonzo outplaying De'Aaron Fox. Kyle Kuzma, we know he can get buckets. I think the guy to worry about is Brandon Ingram, obviously. He misses a free throw that cost him the game ultimately. And I just haven't seen that leap in year three from Ingram. I think he's going to be tougher to flip than Lonzo or Kuzma in a trade to get a big fish. I'm with you. I think LeBron should definitely be encouraged. But I, I, I want to give credit to Luke Walton because his decision to defer to these young guys early in the season is starting to pay dividends. Them being able to step up and come up big late in games, although they didn't win last night, we saw what they did to finish out that game against the Warriors a couple nights ago. So I like where they're headed. And Lonzo Ball, let's give him credit. His confidence is at a supreme high right now. And that's why I believe this, this young Lakers team is making a stride in the right direction. And they'll be great moving forward. I don't take it as anything is exactly what it was. You have a group of guys who are maturing, getting better on a yearly basis. And they didn't win a game. Um, I don't think he should take anything out of that. They're the same place they were last year with this group of guys. They couldn't win big games down the stretch. But the guys are, are growing, getting better. Lonzo's taking some strides. Yes, I believe what you're saying on the, the point of it. If a possible trade is on the horizon, then Lonzo is, is taking those strides, had a big game. He looks more attractive now, and this is more of a assertive role, but they're all the where they're supposed to be. They're missing their two closers and Rajon Rondo and LeBron James. It shows you how how big they are for for finishing games down the stretch and finishing big games, and it just is what it is. Dante, but you played with LeBron, right. so the question is: Is LeBron encouraged? I would say that he plays with these guys. He's practiced with with them every day, so he understands who they are. I think from a management perspective, the bigger picture is one: we have valuable assets, and if they play well, we're able to utilize that for free agents or via trade, which is Anthony Davis, of course. Yes. You know, because you want to be able to use those assets to get a long-term plan post-LeBron when he leaves. If I'm Magic and Palenka, that's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, short-term, we want to win a championship, but long-term, we need a superstar-type player here in L.A. that can carry the torch. Now, in regards to Ingram not probably progressing as fast, a lot of it has to do with LeBron. It does. You you know what I mean? Because it takes the ball out of his hands. He's not kind of the closer. So his progression is going to be slowed down a little bit. And if you think about in terms of what Lonzo Ball is able to bring to the table, I said it from the beginning. I thought Lonzo was the perfect fit for this Lakers team because what they needed was a playmaker. They didn't need other scores. They needed somebody who can set up Ingram, Kuzma, Hart, all these guys. So Lonzo, from a value proposition, kind of fits what the Lakers' narrative is in regards to their core. But Ingram probably is more talent. All right, so I wanna, we all agree. I want to come back to something you said, Greg. You said something about, you know, Luke Walton doing a good job with these guys. I do wonder, LeBron looking at the players saying, oh, nice job, nice job. Hey, Luke, you squandered a 15-point lead in the final seven minutes. We know there's been some Luke Walton-LeBron disagreements, if you will. Um, I do wonder, Greg. You know, Luke Walton, you can't blow 15-point leads when the Lakers, they fell down a, a seed in the standings there. But Luke, Luke wasn't on the court. I, thank you. He Luke, was coaching the guys, Luke, Jim. Luke, Luke's not, listen, Luke can draw plays all he wants. And Dante, you know this, especially with a young team. And I don't mean to jump in. I got I no, got, no, I got you, two you, on this. This one. is your play. Luke can draw up all he wants. But if those players don't execute that play, especially, now, sure. keep in mind, just because they didn't score, that didn't mean they couldn't play defense well, They couldn't stop. stop anybody. Well, that's not Luke Walton's fault. I mean, guys got to want to do it. Dante, back me up here. Yeah, Come on, the, man, give the, me a little the, bit. The players <laughs> have on, to win the game at the end of the right. day. Like, it's not all Luke's responsibility. X and O's go only so far. Leadership only goes so far. The players have to get it done. I, I want to speak back to a, a point you made about Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram doesn't have to be a closer to be a very, very good basketball mm-hmm. player and still be attractive for other teams. He's not a closer. I don't think he ever will be a closer. But what he is is he's long, athletic, versatile, can score, score in bunches, and do a whole bunch of, 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 of things that can win basketball games. Being a closer is only for certain people. And he's a, a, a piece for a team moving on in the future that they can look to look to for, for as something being a big part of the organization. Oh, I think man. the scrutiny is definitely taking a toll. And from this standpoint, anytime as a player, uh, when you start to clap back consistently, mm-hmm. I'm starting to touch you. I'm starting to kind of come in. There's a kink in your armor somewhere. When we listen to Klay Thompson in this slump 
talk about, I'm, I'm, I'm just fine, I'm, I'm good, I just got to get... He is not the same Klay Thompson that he was last year in this offense. It just looks different. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they set the bar. They set the gold standard. Every team now is starting to form their team to look like the Golden State Warriors so that they can top what they've been able to do and take them from what they've always been able to accomplish is winning championships. So I, I think the scrutiny is definitely taking a toll. Listen, scrutiny is at an all-time high for everybody. <laughs> the best player in the game is the most scrutinized player in basketball, LeBron James. Mm -hmm. The best team in the game is going to be the most scrutinized team in, in basketball. But this is what you asked for. You asked for this, Kevin Durant, when, you're, when you wanted to be a free agent right. and, you, and you wanted to hold your own destiny and, and go on the market next year. You asked for this. The, the struggle that they're having is not because of the scrutiny. It's because of the Kevin Durant feud between him and, and Draymond. When that, it, when that happened, it's been fragmenting ever since. It's, it's not been the same team. They have injuries. They have that going on. They have Kevin's um, looming free agency coming up. Like, they're not the cohesive unit that they used to be. And what, what, what else is going on is the fact that they don't have positive veterans at the end of their bench like they did last year. You had Zaza and you had David West. When these things were going on, you could look to them for, for leadership. Wait, you could you look to them for guidance. What about DeMarcus Cousins? You can't look to him no. for leadership. He's never been that. He's, He's never, never been, been that. that for I'm you. joking. So, so David's, David West's presence is missed right now yeah. for times like this. When the ship is not right, he, 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 he takes the necessary leadership steps to get this to going. Your, your leaders are not your front four. Your mm -hmm. all-stars, those are not your leaders, the guys that you look to when times get rough. So that's what's going on right now. Well, if you look at history, and, and we talked about this earlier in the week, and I talked about the 97-98 eight Bulls on their back-to-back, -back, looking at 3 P. They were 9-7 in the month of November. The Lakers 01 and 02 were 6-5, and five, I think, in December. Okay? Shaq talked about this last night, is that they got bored. They got complacent. The Warriors, to me, that's one thing that I said at the beginning of the year, and even last year, when they, they went through fight. the slump, is that it's hard not to fight complacency when you're that good when you want. It's just a drag, as you know, Dante, to get through that 82-game season and finally get to the playoffs. Now, I think the difference, and to your point, Michael Jordan wouldn't allow things just to fester, okay? Kobe Bryant and his ascension to leadership wouldn't let things fester, so they righted the ship. Who's that guy for Golden State when things kind of go off right now? Because you don't really have it in regards to, I respect him so much, right? You're talking about David West being gone, that we need to figure this out. So it's some things that I think Golden State needs to address. I don't think there's a need to panic. No. We've seen it before with successful teams, whatever sport it may be, but it's just that the spotlight, and trust me, I would love to be in their position <laughs> where they'd be scrutinized for about to win the th you know, third that, championship. That means that you're great. Uh, yeah, I, exactly. think Kerr, I think Kerr makes some good points, but I, I want to go back to the word you use, bored. I mean, that's it's obvious watching. They don't care. This is a team. I'm not going to say they don't when, care. No, they I, don't. I, I, no, no, Jim, I'll no, tell you. I, I, they are not that. They, they hey, care, but it's, it's, it's not as when important. These guys, the, the, the regular season is not as important yeah. to them as being healthy and going into the playoffs. Remember, okay, when Kevin Durant got there, it's, I got to get a title. They got the title. Right. Then I got to get another MVP award. Get it. What are they looking forward to this year? They've done it all. History. This is a team. History. What history? But listen, three P. No, no, history. Come on, other teams have three P. How, Jim. But the, how many? The uh, Lakers the, have, Bulls you know, have. And, and, the, and the Celtics. They that's can, it. Yeah, that's it. Do this. That, that's part of history. Bro, it's so a reason, think, okay. it's, it, Jason, it's a reason why since the Celtics did it in the 60s, and went all the way to the Bulls in the 90s that it was it's hard to do. So they have an opportunity to be a part of history right now. The point that you made, the, the, with, with the Lakers and the Bulls, their best player was their dog, was yeah. their leader, and was the one who was trying to mm -hmm. dominate at all costs. Michael Jordan made a statement. It's like, we, our goal was to win at all costs. So yeah, we got complacent for a month. Yeah, we had other things going on, but we had to win, and I set the tone for my teammates. Kobe Bryant was, was stated in an interview saying, you know what, I just couldn't deal with anybody not expecting excellence out of themselves. Well, who are you going to look to as your best player to do that? Kevin Durant already said he doesn't want to be a leader, and Steph Curry is not as aggressive as a Michael Jordan or a Kobe Bryant. So that's why I say you had somebody at the end of your bench, like a David West, who was respected, who was an all-star, who had that voice to be able to be used. Mm -hmm. Now you just don't have that because the people that are the great players on your roster would have to step so far out of their skin that it just wouldn't... You, you really wouldn't feel it. it, 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 it exactly. So it speaks to that point.